good old baby D. Thanks to all the comments, urging and encouraging, we are going to make the decision on the transmission. May not be right, but it's what we're doing, and uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but there it is. That transmission come from behind that little V6 that's blowed up. That's what we're going to do. Thanks, everybody, for all the comments on that, and uh, we'll see what happens with this thing. Probably can't speed shift it, but we're going to put it in there and let her rip. Let's see what happens. Okay, y'all. We uh, we definitely are. We definitely don't have professional lighting. Not exactly a studio here, but wanted to show y'all the transmission stock. I don't even know what these things are, uh, but you can see that the hooker headers fit nicely got the transmission it's actually on the stock mount at the moment but man this thing just fits just right back up in there just the way it did the uh, holly swap kit is freaking awesome the motor mounts just make everything line right back up the way it, the way it's supposed to be love these tri-wire headers too but what we got to do now is pull this all back out get the comp cam put in uh, i think i should have that very shortly get the rear sump oil pan put on permanently we'll go through some of that stuff as we go along here but baby d it ain't happening fast but it's happening y'all it'll be fun so y'all know recently i met Sage Thomas, the Donk Master. Well, I happen to have a set of 22 inch wheels here at the shop off of Dentley, the project that Lutz's shop y'all haven't seen yet. So later today, I'm going to post this and tag the Donk Master just for fun. Y'all check this out. Baby D, the Hemi Dakota on 22s, the Donk Dakota. Actually, don't look bad. The Donk Dakota. What do you think? Comment down below. Baby D, the Hemi Dakota Donk. Although, technically, that's not a Donk. That is a uh, big wheel truck. That's what that would technically be. Just having fun today. Okay. The Hemi is out of the bay one more time. I really think maybe we're done with like test fitting stuff. Not really, but maybe. I don't know how many times I've had this motor in and out here. And to be honest, I've done it more than I need to just because, uh, you know, everybody is, is having problem just getting the material for parts, et cetera, et cetera. It's not, uh, any of the manufacturers fault man i'm just excited to uh, have a little time to play with this thing today now i am kicking around what do i do from here um got some other parts to show you guys that that came in and it's decision time i know for sure this thing's going to have a comp cam in it. I know that that's a fact. Uh, we're going to have a fast XFI system on here. And kind of what I'm sitting here toying around with is I'm really good friends with a guy named Mike Copeland. He owns Arrington Performance. They're kind of the, they are, not kind of, they are the premier late model Hemi company out there. We're going to Norwalk this coming week. I do think Mike is coming. So, how much am I going to bug Mike about this motor? I don't know. I'm trying to decide. You know, it's it's supposed to be a fun project, and my problem is I always get carried away on everything to go fast. 
uh, Arrington Performance does an awesome, awesome job of making these motors go fast. Am I overdoing it? Probably. Do I want to take it to him? Yes. Is it a smart thing to do? Not for what this project really is. So, trying to, do, you know, it's hard for me to not go all out. You know, whether it be uh, Pro Charger Turbos, uh, Nitrous. Nitrous makes the most sense to me just because it's simple and easy. I've already got the project I keep talking about all the time that you had not seen. Dentley, which is our 2004 Ram 1500 four-door that belonged to my son Dalton. It was Dalton's truck. That one has got completely out of control and I don't want to do that on two projects. I want to be able to just have fun with this thing, drive it. But I'm having a trouble making that decision. Project Baby D, the Hemi Dakota. Woo! What do y'all think? Let me know. Okay, while we were gone to Epping, New Hampshire, I hopped online and I ordered a flywheel. The flywheel hopefully will work with the stock Dakota transmission, the little five speed that I know we're gonna break. So flywheel, eight bolt pattern, two bolt up to the back of the 5.7 Hemi. So the 5.7 Hemi, and I am no expert. I can't call all this stuff off, but what I can tell you is this bolt pattern on the back of the block for the bell housing it is the same as the V6 that come out of this thing, a 318, a 360, all the old Chrysler motors, you know, that we all grew up with. At least I did. Some of y'all hopefully are young enough that uh, you don't remember those. But the difference is the crankshaft, the crankshaft back here has an, <clears throat> the crankshaft back here has an external rear main and the crank sticks out a little bit different than those old motors that we were just talking about. So that flywheel is supposed to make it go back and the starter ring gear and all that's supposed to be the same as the V6 that come out of this thing. So I'm gonna try to halfway mock that up and see if that works. I also bought just a stock clutch, which I know I'm going to smoke out of this thing. All this stuff is just to get it running until I can kind of save my money and, and get the proper transmission put in this thing whatever that it may end up being but it will be a manual we're going to shift some gears anyway let's see if it fits all right unbox some more parts here and i see i showed you the flywheel so here is i showed you the flywheel so here's the clutch the pressure plate I should say so this is just a stock replacement from parts plus it's a sax clutch not a race car clutch just bone stock Dodge Dakota replacement the flywheel I bought so here is the clutch disc that was in it and you can kind of see it's got you know little slashes in it which are just grooves for uh, wear you can also see, well, no, maybe you can't. You can see there used to be one there. So here's what a new one looks like. So you can see there's a pretty good difference between the two. It's just stock. These are for when you let the clutch out. It's not so violet. That's what that's for. Pilot bearing. This goes in the end of the crankshaft. The old throw out bearing. That goes right here. When you push the pedal in, it pushes in. It is a bearing on there. Alignment tool came with the kit. So far, it all looks good. Bolt holes match up. I feel like we're making progress. We'll see. Because we measure the disc in the top fuel car all the time, I just had to do this. It's going to be a little hard to do holding it phone and doing this. So that is, uh, let's call it, just for fun let's call that there we go get it nice and tight 
height, 265, 270. That's the used disc that was in the truck. Slide the new one over here. Let's see what it is. Oh, big difference. That is a big difference, 325. So that one wore smooth out. That one will be some wore smooth out after I uh, dump the clutch, stomp on the loud pedal quite a few times, but keep moving. Well, the old 5.7's out of Baby D. It's on the engine stand. And I was talking about getting carried away with a project. Well, <clears throat> my buddy Mike Copeland called me, owner of Arrington Performance. Uh, we are about to pull the cylinder heads off of this thing. They had to come off anyway because to put a cam in, you got to pull the cylinder heads off to get the lifters out. But upon talking to Mr. Mike Copeland, we're sending the cylinder heads to get a valve job. Probably don't really need one. Motor's got a load 5,000 miles. Get valve springs from comp cams, which it does need. Uh, but the getting carried away part. Yep. Cylinder heads are going to get a little CNC port job. Why not? Do it now, do it later. And that, everybody, is how you get carried away and uh, your project gets out of control. But, cylinder heads coming off. All right, all right, all right. Cylinder head is off. And, Gotta say, this thing is pretty freaking clean. These pistons are got a little baby dome on them. Can't say that I've ever really looked at a lot of Hemi stuff, especially 2018 model. This would be the first. Cylinder heads look pretty good. Spark plugs look nice. And I am telling you, Boom. This thing definitely does not have a lot of miles on it. No doubt about it. And the other thing interesting about the late model Hemis is the lifter location. So I know there is a lot of stuff you see on the internet about problems with the late model Hemis, but the lifters, it's a screw right there, holds this little plastic tray in and the lifters come out. So they're almost in there straight across. The Hemi got one head off, one to go. Then they head to Arrington Performance to see Mr. Mike Copeland camshaft after that. Yes, getting carried away. That's what we do. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm kind of excited about uh, the idea of sending these things to Mr. Mike Copeland. Little intake port look here so we can, uh, you can see, I mean, these heads, that intake port, I mean, it just sets. Basically, it goes straight up and down when it's on the motor. So you're talking about a straight shot right on top of the valve right there on the intake side. I just got to believe these things flow good. I don't really know. Uh, I just want to say that uh, porting them is going to do nothing but make them better, but I don't know why we can't make LS kind of power out of one of these things. And it's a Hemi, and it's got 16 spark plugs. Two per cylinder, which is pretty cool. Off to Mr. Copeland, these things will go. Okie dokie. Got the motor bagged. Cylinder heads are off. Valve covers, rocker gear, got them covered up. Keep all the dust out of them, whatever the heck's going on around this shop. Uh, the cylinder heads, bam! There they are. 
halfway cleaned up, ready to go. Pretty impressed how clean everything was on these things. They're uh, in pretty good shape. Again, low miles. Everybody, I am going to wrap this edition of Project Baby D up right here for the night. And really, really, really appreciate everybody watching, tuning in, subscribing. I don't even know what the bell notification is, whatever that is. I hear other people saying that, but uh, I, what I really, really love is the all the comments. Uh, again, wish I had time to read them all. I don't, but let me rephrase that. I do read them all. I don't have time to respond to them all, but I definitely read them all. I think they're interesting, and I appreciate everybody tuning in. See you soon. Project Baby D.